Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Ndugu zangu wapendwa, my beloved brethren. Mungu ametuwezesha tena. God has enabled us again. Wa mama mwanzilishi. God of the founder mother. Ndani ya mtumishi wake. In his servant. Tuleta tena jioni ya Jumatano. He has brought us again this evening. Hii ni siku ya mafundisho. This is a day for teachings. Ni siku ilitengwa mapema. A day set aside earlier. Mungu atatupa kutulia. God will give you to be settled. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Tusiwe na maswali. Let's not have questions. Yoyote yale. Any kind of question. Tusikilize neno. We listen to the word. Tupokee neno. And receive the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusikilize neno. We listen to the word. Tupokee neno. And receive the word. Hilo litakalokufaa. That's what will benefit you. Hilo litakalokufaa. That's what will benefit you. Ndio sababu umekuja. That's why you've come here. Bana neno tayari limewekwa. Because the word is set already. Kwa hivyo bila kumpotezea wakati. So without wasting his time. Mtumishi wa Mungu. The time of the servant of God. Naomba tuinamishe vichwa vyetu. I ask you to bow down our heads. Ili tumpe nafasi mapema. That to give him a chance early. Anene na sisi. To be able to talk to us. Atuambie. And tell us. Kila neno ambalo Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Every word God of the founder. Amempa jioni ya leo. Has given this evening. Baba ninakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu wa mbingu na nchi. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi. Dani ya mtumishi wako Ishmael Mazombo Rimba. Ninakushukuru jioni ya leo kwa ujumbe ambao tayari Bwana umeuweka ndani ya mtumishi wako. Ninakushukuru baba kwa wote uliowaleta. Naamini Mungu wa majilishi huku waleta bure. Uliwaleta ili wapate kufaidika bana na ujumbe huo ambao tayari Bwana umeuweka ndani ya mtumishi wako. Na ifungua ibada hii mikono ni mwako. Nikiamini Mungu wa majilishi uko pamoja nasi ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mokozi wetu Amen Asante bwana Yesu Asante bwana Yesu Kwa hivyo tulia mahali ulipo Settle wherever you are Neno linakuja pale pale The word is coming right there Chukua kilicho chako Take what belongs to you Sikiliza Listen what belongs to you, take it. Because that is what will benefit. Welcome the servant of God. You talk to us. These are your hours. You tell us. Whatever God of the founder has given you this evening. Welcome so much. Welcome. Amen. Tawasalimu katika jina kula Bwana Yesu. Amen. Je, mna amani? Do you have peace with you? Amani ndio silaha kubwa. Peace is the greatest armor. Na shida gani? Whatever problem you have? Na tatizo gani? Any kind of complication you have? Lakini amani kwa Mungu. But peace to God. Kwamba Mungu ataniokoa na shida hii. That God will save me from this problem. Kuona Mungu yuko. Seeing God is. Hata katika tabu hizi. Even in these problems. Lakini si kwamba Bwana ameniacha yuko pamoja. It doesn't mean the Lord has forsaken me He's still together. Kaona kesho umevuka huko. We'll see tomorrow you're crossing over. Lakini sijui kwa nini hii. But I don't know why this happens. Kwa nini shida hii imekuja? Why should this problem come to me? Lakini amani. But peace. Bwana Yesu that's why the Lord Jesus katokezea wanafunzi wake appear to his disciples akawaambia amani and told them peace be unto you katikati ya matatizo they were in the midst of complications hofu nyingi imewajaa a lot of fear filling them bwana wao the Lord kwa msalabani ni bwana Yesu has been crucified the Lord Jesus walie mtumainia kabisa 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 whom they depended on him so much ambaye hata ijapokuwa alisema mimi niko na ninyi that though he said i'm together with you lakini siku moja but one day itashikwa i'll be arrested and itauwao and i'll be killed ah oh, they never believe in that walishangaa wanasema maneno gani they were surprised with the words Jesus was saying na kwa sababu wako waamini hayo maneno and because they never believe the maana hata wamevufuka wamesahau that's why after resurrecting they are maana hilo hawakulipokea hilo because they never received that kwamba siku moja atawaacha that one day he lived hilo hawakupokea they never received that 
Hallelujah. They hoped in him so much. Peter, Judas was coming with people to puppet with Jesus. Peter was walking with an eye to secure his master. Then he showed someone's ears. Amen. Amen. Jesus told him, Peter, that's not the case. I have a lot of the power with me. But when destroying by a sword shall be destroyed by a sword. That's not the way, Peter. Jesus took back the ear and mounted back to that man. He held it very well. The ear is back. They've come to perpetrate him truly. To arrest, but they were suppressed with Jesus. A lot of power with him. But because they were full of the spirit of the church, that side never made them to be suppressed with Jesus. They still continued ahead arresting him. Because being arrested and crucified was the covenant of God for the word of God to come and pass and for us to be saved he was to be crucified and shed the blood for the sake of our sins hallelujah that's why though he had the power he never defended himself for the power because the hour had come to fulfill the covenant of God and because he had the love and he gave himself willingly many rejected who will go on earth or refuse to heaven but he said I'm here I'll go down the only begotten son because he was doing something he loved himself he never got to a point and hesitated he knew what will come upon him because it's a covenant of God and because they were questioned who will go on earth many hesitated but he said I'll go here so we thank our God for bringing us together as you announced to that is the case in our village the sun is very well. There are so many roads to follow. But when it trains, there is one way we used to depend on so much. There is one area that was plowed that time. They plowed the other day. Very slippery place. But when it dries, it's very easy. Just that area only. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But should it be sunny? There are so many roads to go. So we thought better to bring the body early in the morning. Then we bury the meant hours. The program to start early at around 10 and we are not lengthy in talking hallelujah hallelujah so that is the case those who know that village know the route well when you go to Ezekiel's place there's a route diverting the other side ahead there there's left you go to the left side. From right, there you go to the right, that is. You've got the home. Amen. Amen. In Ezekiel's place. After the story building built there, there's a route passing by. Straight away there's another junction going to the right. You come back to the Chonyi line. Then you take the left side where the flag is. In front there you follow the plowed way. The home is next to the road. 
Na palipo na matanga hapa hata sipa kutafuta. Pimbi. And it's not a place to seek so much. Na yungine ya shariani ukisuka wenye kuenda na magari. There's another piki, piki. room from shariani those with vehicles and motorbikes. Shariani kule. Shariani. Kuenda na mavu. Mombasa kisuka shariani from Mombasa then you are light in shariani ndio mwenye matatu nisukishe eh, tell him to stop you shariani stage shariani stage si pale madukani ukipita shariani madukani pale mbele kuna not in the kumba. market center but Nama after piki piki the market center there are so many motor but there hao wote wanajua nyumbani all of them know our place wanakuleta nyumbani they'll bring you home amen amen zunguka na kwa mavueni when you move around mavueni Ndia ziko. Ya so many roads. Shariani. Shariani. Hawa oh, watapale mavoka sema nipeleke huko kwenye matanga huko choni kule oh, kumunikani. Oh even in Mavweni you should have motorbike. Kwa lipa miambili hawa miamoja amseo na kupeleka. You will pay 150 shillings or 200 shillings they will take you home. Hawa oh, wata hapo, hapo milele. Oh even in milele. Nipanda kidogo paka pale mbele kuna katao ni pale taka ungu. There's a town Wale after. Boda boda pio, kwa mbea, nipeleke, kule. Should you tell the motorbike to take you to Pinglikani? Where the battle is, they'll take Bo you there. Kupika shariani. Before you get to Shariani. Past Milele after the bridge. Mbele, kuna boda boda. There are so many motorbikes after there. Ambea, nipeleke, bokini, pinglikani. Should you tell them to take you to Pinglikani? Kule kwenye matanga, kule. Where the battle is. They'll take you there. Boda boda wako the motorbikes are so many there. Hata hapa cha Simba hapa wale boda boda wale. Even right in cha Simba, Simba hapa hapa. Cha Simba right here. Ukawaambia nipeleke kule Pinglikani kule Suleni kule chini Bokini. Should you tell the bikers to take you to Pinglikani Bokini area? Nao wanakupeleka na hapa. They'll also take you there. Bora mnaelewana. So Mia long as na, you agree on their fare. Ni tatu. Be 200 or 300 shillings. Wanakupeleka. They'll take you there. Panya routes ziko nyingi. There are so many routes to go. But the vehicles the other side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo, so, mijioni njema mungu wetu ametupa. It's a good evening our God has granted us with. Atuko hapa kwa bahati mungu ndia ametuchagua tuwe. We are not here by chance God has chosen us to be here. Na lengo la mungu kutuokoa. And the intention of God saving us. Ni ajutukuze maisha ni mungu. Is to glorify himself in our lives. Mungu ataonekana wapi. Where will God be seen? Na ni maisha ni mwako na mwangu mimi. And it is in your life and my life too. Watu wajue kweli Mungu yuko. People to know truly God is. Hata rimba yule. Rimba tu. Hata Johana yule. Then John here. Hali aliyokuwa nayo. The condition was there. Lakini kwa ajili ya Yesu Kristo. But because of Jesus Christ. Ana hali ile. He has this state of being. Kabuzi zimeondokea. The problems have gone away from him. Ah, kweli Mungu ni wajabu. Okay, truly God is wonderful. Mungu anaonekana waajabu. God is seen wonderful. Maajabu yake anataka yafanye kwako na kwangu. His wonders he wants to perform unto you and I too. Kazi zake njema anataka azifanye kwako na kwangu. His good works he wants to perform unto you and mine too. Ile for him to be glorified. He wants to do the works in you and me too. For his glory to be manifested. That is the meaning of saving. He wants to manifest himself in you. So we need to say. If I believe in the Lord Jesus. And he doesn't work in me. I pray for plenty. It doesn't happen. Sababu ni nini? What is the cause here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Afanye kazi kwa nini? He doesn't work why? Dunia nzima inaamini Mungu yuko. The whole world believe God is. Na kuna watu wanaomba. And there are people who do pray. Anaweza kwanza kuomba tangu saa 12 za asubuhi paka paka jioni. He can pray from morning to evening. Na anaomba tangu saa 12 za usiku. And he prays from 6 hata anaweza kufika asubuhi. And to the following morning. Lakini hakufanyiki kitu. But nothing happens. Shida zake ziko pale. The problems are still there. Na Mungu and God alisema ombeni mtapata. Said you ask you shall be given. No it shall be opened for you. Na alituita ili ajitukuze. And he called us to glorify himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa tutafute kujua. Now we need to seek. Mungu ananipenda. God loves me. Alinichagua akaniita akaniokoa. He chose me, called me and saved me. Ili ajitukuze maisha ni mwangu. To glorify himself in my life. Ili afanye kazi ndani mwangu. That he may work in me. Na nimemwamini. And I believe in him. Hata nina muomba. In fact I pray unto him. Kini mbona asifanye kazi? Why why shouldn't he work? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mbona asifanye kazi? Why shouldn't he work? Hata aponye pale to heal this area. Hata alete 
kufanikiwa pale and bring success in this area alete amani pasipo na amani and bring peace where there's no peace na mungu and god hana upendeleo there's no respect of persons tusome read for us warumi 8 romans 8 29 peremuke hapo chini downwards mungu anafanya kazi kwa watu gani god works with which kind of people Je, ni kwa watu wote wale wanaokaa kanisani? Is it to any people who stay church? Na makofi and clapping. Na kukesha kuimba ni sawa. Hivyo tumetimiza mapenzi ya Mungu kuimba. Singing we are fulfilling the will of God, singing. Lakini ukiona Mungu hafanyi kazi. But when you see God doesn't work. Pamoja na umefanya hili, together with your works. Hebu tusome. Read for us. Warumi 8. Romans 8. Anza 28. From 28. Nasi tojua ya kuwa katika mambo yote Mungu fanya kazi pamoja na wale wampendao katika kuwapatia mema yaani wale walioitwa kwa kusudi lake maana wale waliowajua tangu wasili aliwachagua tangu wasili wafananishwe na mfano wa mwana wake ili ye awe mzaliwa wa kwanza miongoni mwa ndugu wengi na wale aliowachagua tangu wasili hao akawaita na wale aliowaita hao akawahesabia haki na wale aliowahesabia haki hao akawatukuza. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose for whom he did for no he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called and whom he called them he also justified and whom he justified them he also glorified. Sasa ikiwa now if alilichagua tangu asili he chose me from the beginning that he may justify me and glorify me kwa nini utukufu wake usiuone maisha why shouldn't i see his glory in my life tukufu wake amani his glory peace kufanikiwa alikuwa idea mwanadamu hapa duniani the success he promised i mean being under the duniani haya the good of the land here bana tumewekwa hapa ajitukuze maisha ni mwetu because you are set here him to glorify himself in our lives lakini tuangalie anafanya kazi na kina nani but we need to consider anasema nasi tunajua ya kuwa Jesus and we know katika mambo yote in all things mungu anafanya kazi god works na wale wampendao with those who love huyo mungu wale wampendao those who love him god hallelujah hallelujah Umeimba, you've sung umesifu, well, you've praised. Lakini ukiona una mahali, but when you see there's an area, utukufu hauji, no glory come. Na uliahidi wa utukufu, and you have promised the glory. Tafuta kujua, seek to know. Hata Mungu hafanyi kazi hapa. God doesn't work here. Umekosa pendo wapi kwa Mungu? Where do you lack the love? Bwana anafanya kazi kwa wapendao. Because he works to those who love. Katika kuwapatia mema. In giving them good things. Na mimi ni mwanawe aliniita. And I'm his son he called me. Na alisema ombeni mtapata. And he said you ask shall be given. Mtafungu no, he shall be open. Tafuteni mtaona. Seek you shall find. Kama ninyi mwaweza kuwa watoto wenu vilivyo vizuri. If you can give your children nice things. Je, baba wa mbinguni, si zaidi. What about the heavenly father? It's more than. Sasa mimi ni mwanawe mimi. Now I'm his son here. Bwana nimuita asifanye kitu. Why should I come? Mana, then he fails to do something. Uombe baba yako mama yako kitu. You ask your father your mother something. Lakini ukimwona na kunyima. But when you see denies. Una mahali humpendezi. There must be an area don't please him. Haleluya. Haleluya. Una mahali humpendezi. There's an area don't please him. Sasa utafute kujua asipendi Mungu wapi. You seek to know why. anafanya kazi na wapendao. Because he works with those who love. Ndio mimi nikapata tabu nyingi. That's why I got so many problems. Na mengi. And a lot of problems. Ana siku inuka akupenda Mungu. Because I never grew up loving. Satan akanitumia. The devil slaved me. Amri ya Mungu yasema eni watoto heshimuni wazazi. The command of God says you children honor your parents. Tini. Obey. Upate heri mkae siku nyingi. That you may be blessed and live long. Ndio mimi siku nitimiza. I never fulfill that. Nikae nuka kudharau baba. Mama. I grew up despising my father and my mother. Na uchungu mwingi kwa babangu. In a lot of bitterness to my mother. Na nyingi kwa mama. In a lot of disrespect to my mother. Nikajikuta katikati ya ndugu zangu wote. I found myself in the midst of our family. Mimi usema mimi ndimi nilikuwa na uchungu mwingi kupita kesi. I normally say I had intensive bitterness more than all. Ndio nikapata madhara makubwa zaidi. That's why a lot of injuries came unto me. Kuliko ndugu zangu. More than my the rest of my siblings. Kwa sababu because shetani aliniondolea pendo kwa wazazi. The devil denied me the love of my parents. Na alisema heshimuni wazazi ni Mungu. Honor your parents is God himself. Sasa kupenda Mungu. Now loving God. Anasema anafanya kazi na wapendao. He says I work with those who love. Unatolea Mungu. You are giving to God. 
na kufanya kazi za Mungu vizuri kabisa the works of God very well. kuona una mahali but if there's an area kuoni kufanikiwa vile utakavyo you don't see success as you wish angalia Mungu ana sita kujitukuza kwako look very well how does god hesitate where don't you love god lakini ukiona Mungu afanye kazi but when you see god as a angalia ni wapi look very well where, where don't you please god maana anasema yeye because he says mimi nawapenda wale wanipenda i love those who love me na wale wanitafuta kwa bidii ndio wataniona and those who seek oh. me ali shall find me mungu hapendi kila mtu so god doesn't love anybody anapenda wampenda he love those who love them anapenda wampenda he love those who love him sasa tutafuta kujua pendo ni nini so kupenda we, mungu ni nini we seek to know what does it mean kwa kanisa what does it mean to love god sitting in church and singing na kuwa pastor and being a preacher Yes, I may be a preacher before you here. Lakini amri ya Mungu siipendi. There's a command of God I don't know. Nenda nyumbani. When I go home. Beleza muke. Before my wife. Macho mekundu. Red eyes. Leo Mungu nilisema muke. Of God say. Alelewe kwa heshima na kwa 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 upendo. A woman to be honored and loved. It's not in me. Hata ndani mna mpango ya kando. In fact I have extra matter Lakin of prayer. Lakini kisoma kuhubiri. But when I stand to preach. Hata watu wataokoka. People will be saved. Wanaokoka hawa. They are saved. Mungu atafanya kazi nao maana unawaambia la Mungu because you tell them that but for them. you he won't work with him atafanya kazi na mimi he won't work with me too ile baraka alizo nazo hawa the blessings they have utaona mimi sina i won't be having them amen amen maana anafanya kazi anasema he says he works hawampendao with those who love him tusomee hapo 28 peke yake 28 only huyo wa Rome Romans na si tojua ya kuwa katika mambo yote Mungu hufanya kazi pamoja na wale wampendao katika kuwapatia mema yani wale walioitwa kwa kusudi lake and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the call according to his purpose tunajua ya kuwa Mungu anafanya kazi we know that God works na wampendao with those who love him katika kuwapatia mema in giving them good things hallelujah hallelujah Kaskia vijana wengi kule Samburu wanashukuru kwenda zake mama kutete. So many young men in Samburu so grateful. Jana wametulia katika wokovu. Guys were settled in salvation. Wamesoma wana elimu, wamepata kazi. They are highly educated employed. Wanasema they say. Maoni walitufanya sisi tufanikiwe hata leo tuna msingi wa maisha. What made us to be established in that? na kazi and be employed. Wakuwa na elimu and be knowledgeable. Tumekuwa kwenda wanazi wetu. We've been having our parents. Lakini huyu mama but this mother here tuokoa maana tulimsikia. Saved us because we listened to her. Kwa mengi ya. A lot of warnings to her. Mama tulikuwa vijana tumezaliwa kanisani because you we were born in church. Lakini wanazi wetu our parents hawakupa maonyo kuliko hao. Never gave us the warnings like this mother here. Walipenda Mungu they love kwa neno kuonyeka. By the word loving the warnings. Wewe waweza kuwa mkanisani you may be in church here. Lakini ukitoa kwa neno onyo but when it gets to a warning umeachana mubi you part with a preacher Nani Mungu ndiye alisema and it's God who say muonyane you exhort one another Moja asifanywe mgumu na shetani Lest one is made stiff by the devil Maonyo yanachonga mtu warnings bring you shame Wale vijana walichongwa Those young men were carved by Sasa wakati wa nguvu kuwasomesha The parents were given the strength to school them Maana mama Mori menda zake Mori sikwa mama Mori sikitetu mama kitetu That mother the late the wife the tetu Wale mama alikuwa mtu wa maoni Truly that mother was full of warning Mmoja na mzee wake together with us stricken Mimi niliona hapa nilipo I saw them right away when I came Nilipo kuja hapa mwaka 76 When I came in 1976 Tona ni wakali 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 So stand no need of jokes Wamekemea mtu They rebuke anyone sit away Nilikuwa nikiwaona I used to see them here Amen. Amen. Na vijana walikuwa wanaishi hapo Samburu. And the young men were living in Samburu church. Jiji yao karibu na hapo. They were homes and neighboring the church. So wakapenda huyu mama. So they love this mother so much. Wanasema they say hatukupata maoni ya kutuokoa zaidi. We never get the warnings to save us more. Wazazi hata mengi kutoka mengi atoka kwa huyu. From our parents but from this mother here. Alipenda na akatuonya. She loved us and exhorted us. Zaidi ana kuliko wazazi. More than our own parents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walipenda Mungu they love God kwa kupenda through na Mungu onyo the word of God a warning wewe hata kama una mali ngapi however you are rich hata kama una baraka ngapi and many blessings you have lakini huonyeki but you don't receive the warnings na wewe utakwisha you will be destroyed usiende huku don't go this side you hate this person usiingie hapa don't get to this place 
You feel not loving. So you have a life that is Your end is a loss. Because you don't receive the word. And it's God who said you exhort one another. That's why when you are here, you don't see success. Consider which of God don't you love? Because loving God, loving God is not only coming to church. It is accomplishing that of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusomee mithali 8:17. Read from Proverbs 8:17. Mimi na wapenda wale walipenda. And God says I love this, those who love me. Na wale wanatafuta kwa bidii hao wataniona. And those who seek me early shall see me. Oh, okay. Sasa usome hapo nikawazi. So I normally read and think. Kumbe Mungu anapenda wale wampendao. So God love those who love him. Ndio wewe ukiona huko maisha ni humu. When you see in life lakini una mwanando uliyo kinyume na ya Mungu. You have a conduct contrary to that. Misho asara itakuwa. Hata wakawa miaka ngapi? For how long you stay? Hata kama una mafanikio makubwa. Even if you've studied very well. Lakini hupendi Mungu. But you don't love God. Una maneno kinyume wafanye. You have issues contrary to that. Yeso ya Mungu hivyo hupendi Mungu. That are not God. That you don't love. God. Because when you love, utatimiza lake. You will fulfill his word. Hata akamwambia tuingie hapa kuna pole. Even if he tells you go to a bush. Lakini kipenzi chako wampenda. You love you love her. Utaenda naye. You will go with her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You'll go with her. Yani, mtu mpendaye, the meaning is one you love. You are cautious not to grieve. You are cautious not to cancel him. Because that is your safety. Hata wa, cancel him out. The love will fade out. Amen. The good things he's doing unto me, he'll not do unto me anymore. One whom you love. You don't want to grieve him. Kipenzi. I love her here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the whole world is there. People know how to pray. They know how to say. Again, lengthen prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God doesn't trust Because the devil is deceiving. They be denied our spirit to worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusomee hapo 8:27. Right wapenda wale wanipendao na wale wanitafutao kwa bidii wataniona. I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. Na wapenda wale wanipendao. I love those who love me. Na wale wanitafutao kwa bidii and those who seek me early wataniona. Shall find me. Upende Mungu, you love God. Upholding his command. Sasa umtafute katika pendo. Now you seek him in love. Ukiangalia katika Biblia. Looking in the Bible. Wengi ambao Mungu alifanya kazi pao. Many who God work with them. Walidhihirisha upendo kwa Mungu. They manifested their love to God. Cornelio, Cornelius. Mungu akadhihirika kwake. God was manifested unto him. Japo nitafanya nyongo, taifa nyongo. Though an inferior nation. Kwa kupenda Mungu. Through loving God. Anaitwa alimcha Mungu. He was called to be a God-fearing person. Hilo maana yake ni pendo. The meaning is he had love. Watu wakao wote, all their family people, hawapendi, didn't love. Lakini yeye katika taifa hilo, akajaliwa kupenda. He was unable to love. Akashika ya Mungu akayafanya, he did the word of God. Bila kuchoka, without hesitation. Kuwapa watu sadaka, giving people arms. Na maombi. And prayers. Kuwapa watu sadaka, giving people arms. Na maombi. And prayers. Contrary to the culture of the of the families. Mungu akajidhihirisha kwake. God was manifested unto him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Malaika wakatumwa. The angels were sent. Cornelio, to Cornelius. Sadaka zako na maombi yako. Your hands and your prayers. Yamefika kwa Bwana. I've got to the Lord. Muite enda ituma watu waende hapa. Send people to Joppa. Kuna mtu anaitwa Simon. There's one called Simon. Atakuja kukuambia na kufanya nini? He'll dini. come and tell you something else to do here. Amedhihirisha pendo. He has manifested love. Mungu anadhihirika kwa, kwa nini? God is unto him why? Maana amependa. Because he has love. Amejua nini kuwapa sadaka sadaka watu ni haki. He has not giving people arms is right. Maombi ni haki. And prayers are righteous. Akayashika hayo bila kuchoka. He did that without hesitation. Hallelujah. Bila kuona ni hasara without feeling it's a loss kutoa sadaka giving arms bila kuona saenda wapi without questioning where does it go uko ni kuchukizwa huko that way you are abominated saenda wapi where does it go where does it go alisema nitolee mungu sadaka god said i give him arms yeye akapenda yeye he loved mungu akadhihirika god was sent unto him na ukiona wewe mungu leo hafanyi kazi when you see god is not working anymore in you zile baraka ulizoziona the blessings you saw enzi za kwanza ya wokovu in the first time of salvation He doesn't work anymore. Why? 
Wamtolea kweli je ni kwa upendo ule uliokuwa nao kwanza? You give unto him is it with the same love you have? Kwa kutungula zinaenda wapi? If you spy in you where does it go? Now that's why you are bobbing. Leo tawana unabidii kweli. That's why you are hard working to do. Mungu hafanyi kazi. But God, God doesn't talk. be surprised. Na Yesu Kristo. And Jesus Christ. Yeye yule jana. He the same yesterday. Na leo. And today. Na hata milele. And even forever more. Bona leo afanana amebadilika. Why should this sound has changed today? Mana shetani amekunyemelea. The devil has talked to you. Ameokuondolea kule kupenda. He has denied you to love. You are no longer commanded as God wants you to be. Unatukusana neno kutolea Mungu. You heard the word God. Mana umeanza kusungusa. Giving unto God your spite. Hata umetoa zaka yako. You've given your tithe. Umetoa pesa yako kwa jengo. You've given your money for the church. Watu wamejua You want to check how is it spent? Ana yako umeondolewa pendo kwa Mungu. The meaning is you've been denied the love to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mtu unayempenda huna shaka na yeye. When you love you are not doubting him. Huna shaka na yeye. You don't doubt him. Kipenzi chako. Your own love. Uwe na shaka naye. You doubt her or him. Akikulitea maji na kunywa. When he brings the water yes. Was ya maji labda amefanya nini? You don't think whether the water is. Kipenzi chako. This is your own love here. Lakini ukiingia chupi mtu usempenda. But what's the one you don't love? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amepika chakula. She has prepared food. Unakula bila hofu. You eat without fear. Mpenzi wako ndani ya nyumba. You are loved like, in the house. Lakini ukiondolewa, upendo utakuwa mkeo. You are denied the love to your wife. You are doubting her. Waona wewe anaweza kuniuza. You think she can say wewe na watu. And be destroyed Una by people. Pendo. You don't have the love with you. Mtu una shaka naye. You will be doubting her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tena utaona huamuriki. Again you are not commanded. Kumtimizia mapenzi yake. To fulfill her provisions. Hata anaweza kukuagiza waenda Mombasa. Even if I tell you naomba uniletee leso. You are going to Mombasa bring me a leso. Mpende, you don't know. Hey, you hey. can respond okay yes. Lakini hutalet. But you won't bring the leso. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hutalet. You won't bring the leso. Maana huna upendo naye. Because nae. you don't have the love to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, ikiwa Mungu alisema. So, if God said, anafanya kazi. He works. Alituita atutukuze. He calls us to glorify us. Mbona asifanye kazi kwangu? Why shouldn't he work in me? Ni mahali gani sipendi Mungu? Which area don't I love God? Ni kwa nipi limekuwa kizuizi? In which area am I an obstacle? Ni mahali gani nina shaka? Which area am I doubting? Ni amri gani ya Mungu? Which command of God? Sina furaha nayo kuitimiza. Am I not happy to fulfill? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mbona anafanya kazi na Because wa mpendao? He works with those who love him. Mtu umpendaye na kuambia una shaka nani? When you love I tell you you don't doubt him. Sisemi ule kila kitu. I don't say you eat everything. Lakini una mtu ule na shaka naye. But when you are doubting. Ni kwamba upendo umepungua. The meaning is you've limited your love. Sasa Mungu ni baba. So God is the father. Una shaka naye vipi Mungu? How do you doubt him? Nani sisi ni wanawe. And we are his children. Hata watu wachako kuwa sita. You are giving with hesitation. Ni kwamba upendi Mungu. That's why you don't love God. Sasa naye anasema anafanya kazi na wapenda. He works with those who love him. Anafanya kazi na wapenda. He works with those who love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dunia hii kuna waombaji. In the world there are people who pray. Waombaji. There are people who pray. Huyu pastor ni shahidi. Our preacher here does witness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great man. Ni pastor. He's a preacher. Wa kuheshimiwa huko kwao. Very honorable preacher here. Alikuja kuokolewa hapa Miracle Revival. He was served in Miracle Revival here. Akaambiwa ndugu hata unafanya kazi ya peti. He was told brother you are working futilely. Wa kesha kweli hujapata samaki. You are toiling without any fish to. Maana uko nje na Mungu. Because you are contrary to that of God. Sasa nifanyeje? Je una amani kwa baba na mama? Do you have peace with your father and your mother? Maana amri ya Mungu yasema. Because the command of God says so. Umefunga kweli miaka yote. You've done all for so many years. No parenthood. Mabishopu wako wanamwambia funga. His bishops are saying you fast. Funga ndugu funga. Fast brother. Bana wameomba na havija. Hata kufunga wewe. They pray that thing happen. Wewe funga. You just fast till God hears it. Hakuna kitu. Zero. There's nothing happened. Zero. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ibrahimu akapenda Mungu baba yetu. Abraham our father loved God. Wameomba mwana. They paid for a son. Mwana amemuomba. A son. Miaka mingi nipate mrithi. For so many as I get a hair. Mtu umpendaye umuzuilie hata kile chako cha thamani. When you love you can't hinder your treasures. Tena Mungu anarudi tena. Again God comes back Na again. Mwanao, I want to give your son unto me. Haleluya. Haleluya. Okay. Huyu niliyekuomba huyu. The one I paid unto. Ili awe mrithi eh huyo isaka. Two here the same Isaac. It's okay. It's okay. Nikamtoa sadaka. I hey. give a sacrifice. Okay. What? What? Upendo mkubwa huu. Very great love here. Yaani mtu umpendaye one whom you love. Unaamurika kwa. You are commandable unto him. Whatever he says you get to a bush you'll get it. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am now I'll sacrifice. The day of sacrifice came. Take the food, my son. And the matchbox here. Let's go. Baba, where is the ram? The Lord will provide. He was aiming to slaughter him totally. Slaughter because God he is the one who has provided him. He says, I slaughter him. Come what me. One whom you love. Pendo, la, pendo, la. Halina kustasit. Doesn't hesitate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ali edi wakweli nita kufanya kuwa mzazi. He was promised I'll make you a parent of the sons and the sons of the sea. But now God is singing you now for me to fulfill the covenant here. Now the only begotten son whom he knows I'll solemn as it I'll get the grandchildren the covenant of God to pass the same son God says I slaughter and remain without anything and it was only one Sarah began. Amen you look around very well. I'm a very good Christian. You are preaching very well. People are saying, but why should God work in me? Even the life they get, I too to encounter the same. The blessings I have, at least to come unto me. Too. God is not respect of pastors. He is not respect of pastors. He works with those who love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And love, the meaning is being commandable in that of God. And however well you are, you prosper all around, but you don't love God. When you get a thousand, one who doesn't love God, once you get money, you get to the guest house. A woman is nothing unto you. That way you don't love God. However you've prospered, but you have, you have such a ways, you don't love God. The blessings will leave you tomorrow. The prosperity will go away from you. Because you don't have the love of God here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, When you pray anything in my name, I will it for the Father to be glorified. In Christ Jesus our Lord. And Christ came under the Son to salvate men from his own sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was crucified. Truly. But why are you still committing sin? Leo. Today. Now his power won't work. Because your soul has been given to hate God. When you see you are doing contrary, not what is taught in the Bible, the meaning is the devil has denied you the love of God. He has given you to hate the Father God himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, however established you are, you got those good things because you loved yesterday. But today the devil is enslaving you. The prosperity will go away. The wellness you won't see too. Pains are there. But they are pains. Because you've abominated God. You will pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Though he said, you ask, shall be given. But you'll pray. And pray. And this is the Father. Why should I, why should I pray unto him? He doesn't work unto me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's an area you, you don't love God. You don't uphold his command. Loving God is being commandable. One you love will be commandable unto him or her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will be commanded to tell you whichever place to go. We get through this hole and here. This and this is your lover here. You will get to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God is our father. He said, honor father and your mother. Love your wife. Now today you get the money. You go to affairs out of marriage. Even if she is petty, but your father said she, she should be This is a weaker vessel here. Fine, she is petty. But the father God said she must be loved. You will uphold that of God. 
Amen. Amen. Kupenda huyu mtu. Loving this person here. Utaacha utaacha kuhesabu manyonge yake. You'll forsake counting a pettiness. Ili upendeze huyu mtu. To please God here. Utamtimizia haja zake. You'll fulfill our provisions. Kutomtesa not afflict her. Kwa ya baba Mungu maana because of the Father God. Because that is how he pleases God. Na kesho mtu Mungu huyu mtu atamuokoa. And tomorrow God will save this person here. Amen. Amen. Mungu atamuokoa. God will save this person. Kwa ajili yako wewe ambaye umetimiza na Mungu. Because of you is fulfilling that of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Haya manyonge haya yataondoka. This infirmities will go away. Tuongezee baridi ma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Haya manyonge yataondoka. This weaknesses will go away. Kwa ajili ya wewe upendaye Mungu. Because of you who loves God. Upate haki yako to get your right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na Mungu alisema yenyu wake tini waume. And God said you must be submissive. Na he doesn't feed you. Well. But whenever you love God, ya Mungu because of God whom you love. Tamsikia, you listen and do. Uta, uta You'll be cautious not to grieve. Hata amekupedhesha. Lakini Mungu anasema ni But what does God say? Kwa yale aliyo mapenzi ya Mungu. In the will of God. Na Mungu akiona umempenda kwa kusika agizo lake atageuza huu baya ndio hukumu nyingi zinakaa katika ndoa so, so maana watu wanafika mahali wanakosa kupendana because people get to a point and fail to love one another they hate one another maana mwingine ana unyonge because one is petty somewhere wanakosa kuvumiliana they fail to persevere with each other sasa wanahesabu wa dhambi mbele ya now they are counted to be sinners before god haleluya haleluya ndio nyumba moja ikaokolewa sasa one house was set ilikuwa na mzee mlevi it had one drunkard person anaitwa Nabal call Nabal lakini akawa na mwanamke huko ndani there was a woman in mkewe his wife haleluya haleluya mkewe his wife akawa mwenye utiifu mwingi was so submissive haleluya haleluya mkewe his wife alikuwa anaitwa nani yule Nabal na mkewe and his wife Abigail. Abigail. Kinasema chuo. The Bible says. Alikuwa mama mama mwema. She was a good mother. Mwenye utuwema. With a good state. Huyo mke ni mume ni mkaidi. The husband was so Lakini anamti. But she was submissive. Hata ajapolewa matindi. Though his drunkard totally. Amsiolei. He could not she eh. could not ridicule him. Kama kuna jambo la mara la kumwambia. If there's something good to tell him. Anamngoja asubuhi amepumzika. She waits for him in the morning very sober. And tells him with honor. Amwambii wewe nawe kila siku utalewa paka leo. She doesn't tell him for how long will you be drunk at? Kuna siku amemtukana. There's no day she ridicule him. Kuna siku amemdharau. There's no day she despise. Wala kuna siku alienda kwa wazazi wake kumnungunika. Neither is there any day she mama. Ana joy ni ubavu wangu. She knows this is my remit. Yeye anatengeneza maisha yake tu. She's a man in her life. Adhambi zake. In her own sense. Lakini anamtimizia yeye haki yake kukutii but being submissive to the man at the same time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this man was so obstinate not giving unto God. But because of the faithfulness of this woman here. Kumtumikia Mungu, serving God. Muke mume ni mkaidi. The husband was obstinate. kuku yende kwa zaka. The, to give anything as time. Give any sheep as a time. To him, he, he felt like he was losing. Mama anapenda mungu. But the woman loved God. Anajua ya she knows this is a godly way. Ye, hapo kutoa kondo, Whenever she feels like giving her She knows, should I tell him he won't kondo, She'll take the sheep and take. Kondo, She'll pick one of the sheep and take a tie. She doesn't share to him. Now, so many sheep are full in the homestead. Nyumba hiyo kwa, kwa ajili ya mama apendaye. Because of this mother who loves. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kabisa. Tole. Hamnungoniki. She doesn't mama. Hamlaumu. She doesn't blame. Anajua huyu ni ubavu wangu. She know this my roommate here. Nyumba hiyo iliyokolewa. That house was said. Hata siku moja na bali akatukana akatukana Daud. One day number Ali and Sally David. <laughs> akatukana Daud. He is Sally David. David was coming to destroy that house. Na mama alikuwa hayuko siku. And the mother was not there that day. Ni story ndefu utasoma mwenyewe. It's a lengthy story you'll go down. Kitabu cha Samuel, the book of Samuel. Huyo mama, this mother here. Akufiolea huyu mzee. Didn't ridicule this husband here. 
akafanya njia ya kuokoa muji she made a way to Kati save the homestead akula, she took food and took to david david ameka shirika david was so angry maana ametuma msaada kwa nabali ameka he sent relief to nabal and nabali ametukana mimi ni wape chakula watu sio wajua wa kuangaika humu humu he still insulting i give people to david amefanya msaada mkubwa kwa mzee huyo and david did a lot to this man wachungaji wake kondoo zisipotee helping is hard as the ship not to be lost huko malishoni in the field kini leo Daudi ana shida but today David has a problem amepungua na chakula he's lacking food anasema mimi sijui huyo mtu he says i don't know that matter kwa nani ninyi where mimi are you from nichukue chakula changu i take my old food niumpe mtu nsiye mjua i give to one i don't know Daudi akasirika David was so angry mbona mmerudi bila kitu why you coming without ah, anything mtu ametukana the man has insulted mama akasikia the mother listened mama to that hakueko. because she was not there na sasa wanakuja kuwao now they are coming to be killed hakumfuata akamtolea she didn't follow him wewe ni mse gani we type of man are you haleluya haleluya ah ah no yeye alifanya la kuokoa she did something to say kwa kondoo akachoma na she took the sheep and roasted ndio mzee wangu huyu she knew my husband here jina lake ni livyo ndivyo yeye mwenyewe that's how he is in nature campaign she loved him yeye yeah, akatimi sala mungu she fulfilled out of god kutii mume being submissive the man na kumhesabu bora nyumba ikaokolewa the house was safe haleluya haleluya mungu akajidhihirisha katika nyumba hiyo god manifested himself in that house ukaja. salvation came ukiona wewe umeongofu when you see you are safe umkristo you are christian unaamini mungu you believe in god na una mahali unatafuta mema hayaji there's an area of see good things Tafuta you don't come kujua shetani amekunyang'anya kupenda Mungu wapi see to know where has the devil been in gani ya Mungu waichukia which truth of god do you hate ikihubiriwa when it's preached una wanedo gani ambao which god of you have kinyume na amri ya Mungu it's contrary to the command of god bwana Mungu asijihirishe maishani mwako why shouldn't god manifest himself asifanye kazi ndani mwangu not to work in me haleluya haleluya Nimefunga magaratasi. I've covered the house with potted Ina papers. Ya kwanza kujenga. I have a saving to construct. Mungu akasema nunua simiti bila. God said buy the cement and take to church. Shetani akaja mwana atarudi nyuma. The devil told me the child will backslide. Akasema kama watimei. I said liwalo na yeye. Alipangana ni Mungu. Whoever gave me the son is God. Na alimpa kibarua ni Mungu. And whoever employed him is God himself. Nikafanya hivi. I did that exactly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na nikae kwa makaratasi. Let me stay in the house covered with potted mungu papers. God akajidhihirisha huko. Manifested himself openly. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mungu anajidhihirisha. God is manifesting. Mahali ya amri yake. Where is command? Imetimizwa. Has been fulfilled. Na kutimiza amri ya Mungu. And fulfilling the command of God. Ndio kupenda Mungu. That you love God. Anasema, he says, Haleluya. Haleluya. Somee Johana. Read for us John. 14. 13 14. If you said no, you pray, anything in my name I do that ili baba atukuze ndani ya mwana for the father to be glorified tena narudia mkiniomba again i repeat say when you pray i do that Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio baba missionary na mama mwanzilishi. That's why the father missionary found out. Kwa kupenda Mungu wao. Through loving their God. Mwaka mzima wakasema watoto nao wakae chini wasende shule. They only are the children who not go to school. Maana mshahara ni kidogo. Niko the salary is little. Na wahubiri wanatakana waende kuhubiri. And the preachers go to zao. go and preach. Na watu wajajua kumtolea Mungu. People have not known how to give unto God. Mshahara wake ule kidogo. The little salary. Anafanya kesi Mariakani. He was working in Mariakani case sick. Akasema watoto na wakae. He said let the children stay at home. Haleluya. Haleluya. Na kupenda Mungu ni kuipoteza nafsi yako. Is losing your soul. Uchelewe mema lakini kwa ajili ya mwingine. Let to good things because of someone. Mwingine apate mema. Someone has to get good things. Akatupenda sisi. He loved us. Wahubiri waje watu watu watuhubirie. The preachers to come and preach unto us. Akawa tayari mwanawe watu wote wakae bila kusoma. Ready his children to stay without school. Na mama mwanzilishi akaka na nguo moja asijui kwa kwa muda gani. And the father mother stayed with one dress for a long time. Haleluya. Haleluya. Missionary akaenda missionary went akalala huko kwa kwa injili and slept there in the gospel hakuna magodoro watu hawajajua kuokoka no mattress people are not there akalala kwa and he slept kwa manyasi ya minazi just on the palm leaves haya leo tunaona muhubiri now today you see a preacher godoro liko the mattress is there lakini kwa sababu kimbo haiko but because no cooking oil badala ya kunena injili ya kuokoa watu wanateta instead of preaching kwa nini kabati hii haina kitu why is the cabat dry here Hapendi hao watu. He doesn't love this. Waze, At least you think. Kinachowafanya hata hawafanikiwi. What makes them not to prosper? What is it? 
He doesn't love them. He lectured them, you don't know how to keep someone. They've been bound by the devil. They have not prospered. Preach to them. And love them. Love lots You eat people. But you are sympathetic to people. Tomorrow something will happen here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something will happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mutu umpendae, one whom you love, you will devote yourself to him. That's why God loves us. And gave Jesus his only begotten son. Love devotes itself. Kugarimika. You bear the cost. For the sake of someone else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read for us. John 14, 13. To 14. Nanyi mkiomba lolote kwa jina langu hilo nitalifanya ili baba atukuzwe ndani ya mwana mkiomba neno lolote kwa jina langu nitalifanya And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son if he shall ask anything in my name I will do it Mkiomba neno lolote kwa jina langu nitalifanya Will you ask anything in my name I will do it for the father to be glorified in the son. So I normally think deeper. I pray, Father, save me here. And salvation not to come. I know there's an area I don't have. There's a way I don't please God. I have the thoughts that don't please me. The father said you pray. The father said you pray. The father said you pray. God who gave his only because. If you don't receive, where do why you have been hating to God? Which way do you have that doesn't He said you ask shall be given. The Father God to be glorified. We are his children. He wants to give us the right way. 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 Today now, so many obstacles to be there. We went back to not love you. We heard that you were not love you. And God said we love one another. We come from there and get to life. Because we love brethren. Hallelujah. Love brethren. Hallelujah. 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 Let's take a mistake to God. Now pray for, pray for anything because in your heart you have nothing against anyone. You've forgiven. Again, not only shallow. You've done something without anything against him. You know, it's not him, but the devil is leaving him to speak ill. Now pray for anything. God will manifest it. Because you're commandable. To love one who has not loved. Not pretending. That you tell him welcome, but in your head. It's from down your heart. Now pray for anything you want. He lose something. Many today, the old world are pretending. You don't love one, but you cook for him. Going away, you point at him. This person here, you prepare tea for him. He has eaten and failed. They say, what that person did unto him. I have forgiven and never forget. You are a liar. You say, I forgive, but I never forget. What? How does that happen? God too won't forget your testimony. The way you don't forget someone else. You two will confess but they'll follow you behind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you say you forgive and you never forget. You will be confessing a lot. And a lot of prayers to you. But God won't forget your own too. That's why he doesn't manifest himself. So I'm cancelled. That's what, what does it mean to love God? Read for us. John 14, 21. alie na amri zangu na kuzishika. Ye ndiye anipendae. Na ye anipendae atapendwa na baba yangu. Na ami nitampenda na kujidhihirisha kwake. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. 
and he that loveth me shall be loved by my father and i will love him Amen. and will manifest myself to him yeye aliye na amri zangu him with my commandments na kuzishika and keeping maana yake na kuzitenda the meaning is commitment huyo ndiye anipendaye that is the one who loves me na yeye anipendaye and him who loves me mimi na baba i will the father utakuja kwake will come to him kujidhihirisha and manifest ourselves hata hakuna uzima kwe na uzima where no life is left to come hata hakuna kufanikiwa kwe na kufanikiwa where no prosperity is pro maana umependa mungu because of love god amekuagiza nitumikie hivi he has commanded you serve japo umeelemewa na haja nyingi though you are distressed lakini ukubali haja zako zichelewe but you accept your provision ya mungu for the sake of god haleluya haleluya kajidhihirisha huyu he manifest himself mimi akajidhihirisha huyu he manifest himself unto me niko kwa madarasasi i was in a house covered with pollen papers apata nyumba i got the house haleluya 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 mbona yesu asidhihirishe kwako why shouldn't jesus manifest himself where are you offended with him ni amri gani watukizwa na yeye? Which command are you offended with? Hivi upendi Mungu. That you don't love God. Na waomba tusimame. I ask you to stand up. Kupenda Mungu ni kuamurika. It's been commanded. Na dunia hii kuna watu ni waombaji. In the world people pray. Ni watu ni wana saumu ndefu ni sawa. Fasting a lot is okay. Lakini mbona saumu ndefu hizi? But why long fasting? Na maombi marefu haya. And let the prayers. Kukumbuke kwako ni tukizo. The wife you offended with. Kuna mpango ya kando. You have a fair set of marriage. Huko una Pango ya kando kijana you have affairs out of marriage na imba kwa ya huko na mpango ya kando you are singing kwa ya but affairs out of marriage haleluya haleluya mungu atajidhihirisha god want to manifest himself maana unachukizwa because you offended tumwambie bwana mungu wetu we tell the lord our god uliniita ujidhihirishe kwangu you call me to manifest yourself lakini hapa ungedhihirika kwangu mimi ninachukizwa but you've not manifested yourself ni umbero ipendayo kweli creating me a spirit that tells the truth uniponye kuchukizwa heal me being offended unijalie kuwa yule amurikaye kwenda kwa njia zako enable me to be commanded by roho ifanikiwayo kutia amri zako a spirit that prospers to obey your wewe unawapenda wapendao because you love them who love you hata leo sioni wewe ukidhihirika maisha ni mwangu hapa today you are not manifested my love una upendeleo baba mungu and you are not respect of pastors mimi ndimi sipendi i'm the one who doesn't love uniokoe roho ya kutukizwa save me from being offended uniombe roho and create me a spirit inayopendezwa na maagizo yako that loves your command uniombe roho ifanikiwayo get in me that spirit that prospers utenda mapenzi yako to do your will tufunge macho to close our eyes baba tunakushukuru mwenyezi mungu wa mbingu na nchi mungu wa baba mwanzilishi tunakuregeshea shukurani bwana Mbona tuanze vyema ujidhihirishe kwetu hata tupone leo wasiwasi uingie wasi shaka ingie maana tulifika mahali dada yule na ndugu yule akachukizwa haenendi katika maagizo yako ana mahali amechukizwa na kweli yako ana mahali atimizi mapenzi yako mbona vijana wale samburu wafanikiwe maana walifanikiwa kupenda walifanikiwa kupenda maonyo ya mama yule Morris Kiteto mwenda zake walipenda maonyo Jalia watu wako baba uwaponye yeye Kristo Yesu bwana wetu ulikuja kutuokoa na dhambi na ulidhihirika kwetu tangu mwanzo wa wokovu kwa ulivyompa baba missionary kuhubiri na watumishi waliopita lakini dada yule ndugu yule alifika mahali akachukizwa akachukizwa na neno kutolea Mungu akachukizwa na neno kujenga makanisa akafika mahali akachoka tunafanywa masikini nani Mungu ndiye alisema leteni za kamili galani kiwemo chakula katika nyumba yangu mkanijaribu kwa njia hiyo unaposema zinaenda wapi hivyo umechukizwa na Mungu si mwanadamu mwambie Bwana nisaidie uniponye kuchukizwa uniumbie uniregeshee pendo la kwanza hebu tumuombe ni Mungu Mungu wa baba mwanzilishi tunakushukuru kwa rehema zako kuu na neema yako kuu bwana mbona uanze vyema kwetu leo usidhihirike maishani mwa kijana yule
japo kuna kukesha, kuna kuimba, lakini wachukizwa maana mioni mwao hawaamuriki kuenda kwa neno lako, kwa maagizo yako. Dunia ndio imejaa mioni mwao. Ndio maana ujidhihirishi bwana. Sante kuponya kila kuchukizwa kuliko ndani ya wanadamu. Kumjalia mkubwa kwa mdogo kupenda kuamurika kwa maagizo yako ili kujidhihirishe maishani mwenu. Sante baba kutenda kutimiza maana hatuwezi kujiponya wenyewe ila wewe Mungu liye juu katika Kristo Yesu bwana wetu. Sante kutenda kutimiza. Amen. Aya tufunge macho. To close our eyes. Na ndugu mmoja atufungie ibada. One brother to close the prayer. Mungu wa missionary Mungu wa kazi katika mtumishi wako Ishmael Mazumbo Rimba. Alitukuza jina lako Mungu wetu kapendo lako la ajabu. Kumtuma mwanao Kristo duniani kuja kwa pamoja nasi. Na ndio sababu Bwana niweza kumsimamisha mtumishi wako katikati yetu ili tukapate kusikia yale ambayo Bwana amemwajalia katika jiona leo. Asante mwana wa Mungu liye hai kwa sababu hakika Bwana umeona kanisa lako jinsi lilivyo ya kwamba Bwana tuna matamanio yaliyo mengi ambayo Bwana una uwezo wa kuweza kuyatimiza. Lakini pendo lako ndilo ambalo lilikuwa limepungua katika ndani yetu na ndio sababu tukufu wako siku baada ya siku unaonekana unakimbia na huwezi kuonekana katika ndani yetu. Lakini jina lako litukuzwe kwa ajili ya kwamba tayari Bwana Mmetia neno hilo katika ndani ya mtumishi wako katika jiona leo ili angalau bwana ili matamanio yetu tukapate kuyafikia katika jina lako. Jina lako litukuzwe bwana kwa ajili ya kwamba umetupenda na ndio sababu maana umetia neno la ajabu katika ndani yake bwana. Asante nenda ukapate kutusaidia basi ili tukapate kukaa kama jinsi vile ambavyo unapenda ili mwana wa Mungu tukapate kuyafikia ile matamanio yetu ambayo bwana tunapigana kila wakati tukipigania lakini hatuyaoni ye Mungu amwanzilishi lakini tusaidie katika jiona leo bwana ili tukapate kumbika jinsi vile ambavyo napenda pendo lako bwana likapate kumbika katika ndani yetu ili mwana wa Mungu miujiza ile ambayo bwana haijakoma mpaka kufikia majira haya mwana wa Mungu tukapate kukutana nayo katika jina lako asante mwana wa Mungu liye juu kwa sababu najua tayari kwa ajili vile mempa mtumishi wako kunena nina imani ya kwamba bwana kuliko mdogo kuliko mkubwa Mwana Mungu naamini tayari umeumba lile pendo ambalo Bwana litamwajalia kushika amri zako na kuenenda katika hayo ili utukufu wako kapate kuonekana katika ndani ya maisha yetu sisi wote. Asante Mwana Mungu liye juu kwa pendo hilo Bwana ambalo Bwana umetukirimia nikiwa nina imani Mwana wa Mungu tayari Bwana tutakotoka mahali hapa tukiwa tutakutana na miujiza yetu kwa ajili tayari umemtumia mtumishi wako ambaye Bwana amekuwa mwaminifu kuzungumza na kunena kwa mifano mingi nikiamini Mwana wa Mungu utakuwa pamoja nasi kwa ajili tayari Bwana neno lako umekwisha kulipanda katika ndani ya mioyo yetu bariki Mwana wa Mungu tumishi wako usimpungukie basi kwa ajili ametupenda kupitia neno lako basi usimpungukie yeye pamoja na nyumba yake nenda ukapate kwa pamoja naye bwana fariji mwana wa Mungu katika yote mwana wa Mungu usiwapungukie Yesu mwana Mungu leo wabariki nenda bwana kapate kuokoa na kila lolote lisilofaa katika ndani ya maisha yake pamoja na familia yake wazingire tukufu wako kapate kuonekana kwa jinsi vile ambavyo anatupenda na ndio sababu bwana umempa kuwa mwaminifu kuzungumza yote basi usimpungukie katika ndani ya maisha yake hali ambapo ametoa nenda bwana ukapate kujaliza zaidi ili tukapate kula na kunywa kutokana na kinywa chake e Mungu tusaidie basi tukapate kuenenda kama jinsi vile ambavyo wamesema ili tukapate kukutana na yale ambayo bwana tunayahitaji hayo yote bwana ni kwa ajili ya wema ambao bwana uliofunua katika ndani ya mtumishi wako Mshana Mzi Elisha nyumba hiyo bwana usipungukie kuliko mdogo kuliko mkubwa e Mungu wabariki waokoe na kila lolote lisilofaa bwana ili mwana wa Mungu maana hatungeweza kusikia haya ni kwa ajili ya nyumba hiyo asante mwana Mungu liye juu kuliko mdogo kuliko mkubwa naamini mwana wa Mungu utakuwa pamoja nasi basi nenda ukapate bwana kutuajalia hayo maneno ambayo bwana mtumishi wako ameyanena tukapate kuyazingatia sisi wote utufumue kwa amani mwana wa Mungu tuende hapo katika kila sehemu mbalimbali uwe pamoja nasi tuokoe mwana wa Mungu na kila lolote lisilofaa katika ndani ya maisha yetu 
ili mwana wa Mungu tukapate kukutana na ahadi zako. Asante mwana wa Mungu leju ikijua hakika umesikia na kisha umetenda kwa sababu kutenda kutimiza hiyo na ahadi yako. Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo uliye bwana mkombozi wetu. Amen. Asante bwana Yesu. Amen. Mungu wetu atubariki sana sote. Amen.